hi everyone in this video we are going to talk about a report extension in business central before we proceed i'd like to tell you that this is my github page where i'll be uploading all the source codes whichever i'm discussing in the video so you can find it here and this is my blog here i'll be uploading the detailed instructions on how to uh, do anything like uh, how to do the reports how to create a report builders or uh, tables and everything i'll be updating this twice or thrice a month so you can watch this if you click on any any one blog you will get this page if you wanted to send me an email so you can use this contact form to send the email please follow my blog if you uh, really liked it and <clears throat> this is my uh, playlist okay so this is the youtube playlist where i am play uploading all the microsoft dynamics 365 business central related um, videos here so you can see so every week every week twice or thrice a week i'll be uploading i'll be updating this playlist so keep watching if you haven't subscribed it subscribe it give a like if you really like this video and share it with your friends so that everyone will be get benefited if you want if you want to thank me so you can use this option super thanks so report is one of the object in business central so we know about report and we all i have already discussed about how to create a report rdlc word excel everything so in this specifically we are going to talk about creating a report extension to add a field to the data set of a report so what are the thing which we can do with the report extension so report extension is what if you uh, wanted to use the base report okay base report is what the report which is already designed by microsoft so if you wanted to uh, use that base report but you just wanted to do some customization to it like if you wanted to add a extra field into it if you wanted to add new data item if you wanted to add a trigger request page new report layout so all these things which you can do it with the report okay so this is what uh, we are going to see i'm going to show you very simple example like how we are going to extend the report how to modify that report and uh, how we can add our own new data into it okay so i have already written the code for this in order to reduce the time so i have ex extended the customer list report so you can go and check here uh, you can type here customer and if you click on the report you can see various uh, reports so any report you can extend i'm just using the customer list report okay so this is the one so this id is 101 we are going to use this id 101 okay so what i have did is what i have created a variable called display message where i'm just going to display this message okay extended report version and if you wanted to add any let us see that uh, report first okay so if you click on the customer you can see that this customer report is an rdlc layout okay and uh, what are all the um, table they have extended so sorry the table they have used so here you can see they have used the customer table and if you just come down you can see okay only one table they have used the customer table okay other than this all these things are related to the customer okay so now if you feel like okay uh, i wanted to add the customer address as well okay so you can just create that report extension here a report extensions you, you can simply call the column and inside the column you can uh, use address okay uh, comma customer dot address okay so if you wanted to add a, a column you can add it okay your own column you can add it if you wanted to add the message you can add the message there Okay, everything is fine so this is about the data set okay so if you wanted to write the trigger you can write the trigger over here and this is another blog where what type of uh, report you can do generate it's an rdlc report if you wanted to generate the word layout then you can go ahead with word since it isn't an rdlc because word you can easily figure out rdlc layout so i have given here type is rdlc and you can give any name for that okay so usually you know when we create any uh, report okay when you create a report you will be using what 
uh, control shift b to create a package okay if you once if you give control shift b you can see here that there is a it's showing that the package is created so once if you see this the package is created you can check that particular rdlc created here custom listed dot rdlc is available here okay but what is the problem now like let me just open it click open externally you can see that it will open in a microsoft report builder and you sh your uh, system should be installed with microsoft report builder okay just um, uh, make sure that you have microsoft report builder in my previous report based videos i have already mentioned like how to import everything like uh, how to download and install um microsoft report builder how to use it everything i have uh, discussed okay you can check that so here once the package is created you can find this particular customer dot rdlc so once it is uh, once you find this you can simply select it click open externally so once if you click open externally your microsoft uh, that is the report will be opened so you can see here that it is opened your rdlc report is open if you ex but the problem here no you can see two things okay what you have created is what uh, the uh, that is display message right so you can find the display message on the bottom okay you can see that the display message is here and also the address is here which we have created but the problem is what there is no design you can see that in the customer list because you have created you have created the packet specifically so it is not showing up the proper design here so what we have to do is what okay you have to go to the business central now and go to the search and search for a report selection report layout selection okay so report layout selection so you have to first get the exact report from the base object because already it is created right so once if you uh, get this you, once if you type and search you will get this uh, window you can if you know the report id you can search based on that or else you can go to the search and just type customer you will get all the report here okay which are starting with the customer which contains customer you can see few reports are in word format your customer list is in rdlc format okay so select that the three dots will be there no just click on that and you have an option here called select layout okay you can see the option here called select layout so we have to select it here so what we are going to do is what we have we are going to import the exact design which is already designed by microsoft and we are going to do some edit and then we are going to upload it back here so that is what the uh, uh, thing which we are going to do it now so click select layout so once if you click you can see that the customer list is coming up here and if you click on this three dots you can see various options here okay you can first simply run the report and see how it is working so i'm just giving uh, run report and just i'm going to preview that okay you can see how the rdlc report is exactly looking like okay uh, so that we will have some understanding like what we are going to add so here you can see that on the top you have customer number so what i'm going to do is what i i'm going to i'll be adding the address here okay and then i'll be adding the custom message whatever the message we have here that is what we are going to do it now okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to download this particular message so what i'll be doing click on this three dot click export layout so export layout will export this particular uh, rdlc layout that is uh, uh, this particular uh, report to wherever i want dlc okay yes so now let me just save this and press ctrl shift and b so that it will be created as a package and you can find your data that is this two fields in that particular customer listed at rdlc open click open externally the rdlc layout is created here then you can see that that particular customer report has been created along with your two fields which is a customer 
uh, or whatever the thing which you can find it at the last okay so display message and address so i'm going to add the display message here probably so i'm just adding the address here and uh, the display message here and i am saving this data okay and close this and you can save and execute this okay just press control and yes so you can see that 101 you can change that in the launch 101 and uh, you can change this report okay press control and yes and control and f5 okay so let it execute another important thing which we have to do so it is not completed till now another thing is since we have two customer listed at rdlc in your um, reports okay so one customer list at rdlc is what the base report and the second one is what the customer at rdlc which is we have created now okay that is we have customized now okay this both reports will be there okay so we have to um do some changes over there so let us go and check that okay just we will cancel it here you can see this is the report we will just cancel this okay we will search for um report layout selection and uh, uh, you can select the report layout selection here and you can search for customer so once if you search here customer you can see that you have a customer list and if you go to the selection layout if you click on the selection layout you can see two customer report okay see um one is base object okay one is base object which is uh, clearly mentioned here that this is a base application by microsoft and this we have created okay you know by default um, base application will be the default report which will be executing okay the final step which we have to do is what we have to make our report as the default whenever we are trying to execute the customer report so what we can do now is what we have to make it as a default one okay so it's a very simple process you can select on which uh, report you wanted to run okay S click here and click this click on the three dots and make it as set default okay uh, now this file processing whichever we have uploaded will be the default report click okay uh, then now we can go back and search for uh, the customer list okay customer list report which is a report click here customer list analysis now we can select the um, customer id and if you click on the preview uh, it will be rendering and wait for some time to see how the report exactly looks like okay so here you can see that this is what the report okay so we have added i hope you remember in the previous thing there is no address and this is what uh, the message which we have added okay extended report version and this is what the extra field which we have added so these two things are available here got it so this is how you have to do what we did i'm just summarizing the first one is you have to re uh, uh, extend the report first whatever you want you can if you wanted to add a new field into it then you have to come through table you have to add the field to the table over there okay that is the entry this is a it's it is just displaying a message but if you want some record to be stored then you have to extend the table uh, um, extend the page and make some entry into the, it and then come back to the report extension okay first i have extended the report and then i have opened the report layout selection okay uh, and from there i have uh, uh, downloaded the exact report whatever the report it may be this is applicable for all the report type rdlc word whatever it may be you have to download it uh, to the exact path from where you're going to execute it okay now also you have to uh, uh, you have to give the exact name in your uh, in your uh, code okay here whatever the name you have downloaded you have to give the same name here in your uh, uh, report extensions as well 
okay here you have to give and then you have to make it as a package okay control shift b make it as a package and then try to open if you didn't make it as a package then this whatever the data item you have added will not be updated to that okay so make it as a package right click and open it as externally as a report add wherever you want that particular field to be added save it okay and just press control and uh, uh, save execute it okay execute and then again while executing again you have to open the report layout change the that is whatever the report which you have created okay that should be as a default layout so change it accordingly and then yes it is done then if you execute and see your report will be with you so this is applicable for all the type of reports so you can try that you can try with word and excel and come back so if you have if you asked for whether you can add some logo into the excel some other processing i'm still working on it uh, the thing is what no if, if it is an excel uh, anyhow you'll be just showing up the data as of now excel will automatically render it uh, the first column that is a column name in the first row and then other data will be uh, displayed so you can even search that here i'll talk about this particular excel report in the next video so you can find this report extension thank you take care bye bye